Alright guys, beautiful British summer. Lovely. <laughs> I'll just get into the warm flower and uh, make an introduction to the video. Alright guys, you can see from the weather, it's horrendous outside. So, today I've pretty much been inside. Uh, I've got a lot of fence contacts coming up. I had a lot of wood to cut. Cutting board after board after board, so great fun. Anyway, I done a, a quick rental property refresh last week, so I just thought I would just give you a quick overview of uh, what I done. I mean, it was nothing major at all. It was just basically a, a redecoration refresh, as I call it. So it was, you know, fixing the bathroom, redecorating the whole property, and just a couple of minor fixes. But hopefully, the video will give you an idea of the the type of thing that I do. I, well, probably one of the most common jobs that I do, you know, when you get the keys from the landlord, just go in, get it ready for the market and go for it. Uh, incidentally, this one that I, I just done, uh, rented, it rented out pretty much on the same day it was completed, so it does, it does make a huge difference. So, we'll have a look now. Right guys, so here's a typical uh, rental property refresh that I was talking about. So, it's basically a three bedroom property. What we've done here is painted all the walls magnolia and all the ceilings just white. So we'll start here, this is the main master bedroom. So again, all the walls magnolia. Uh, the reason we do that is just so it's unobtrusive, you know, for uh, prospective tenants. You know, they come in, they know it's like a garish purple wall or something, you know, so. Okay, so one of the first jobs you do, um, I mean, I'm doing this whole property, painting it, um, but I'm going to be doing all the ceilings first. I always start with the ceilings. And um, this particular property had water stains. I don't know if you can, no, the camera will pick that up. But the brown stains, um, I mean, if you just use a white emulsion and go over the stains, they just, they'll just just keep coming through. I mean, you can give it 10 coats and they'll still come through. So what you need to do is uh, use a stain blocker. Um, so I use Zinsar Bin. Yeah, so these are the stain blockers that I use. Uh, you've got Zinsar Bin, which is more like a shellac sort of, for tougher stains, really good stuff that. Or the Zinsar Bullseye one, two, three for you know minor sort of stains. Um, and this property, I've, I've tended to have to use that uh, more often than not. But that is highly recommended uh, for anybody else to you know get rid of stubborn stain before painting. That's the stuff. Brilliant. So yesterday, one of the first things I done was lock the stains. I don't know if you can probably see that now. See the darker shapes there, that's all stain block. One here as well. And this is a big bay window and a top floor flat, so it was obviously you know, you know, leaking the roof at some point. Yeah, a lot of the rooms are like this, to be honest. So. Yeah, so here's the ceiling, had all the stains. I've used stain block on that. All gone now. So this is a master bedroom, so then go through another bedroom. Same situation, same process, magnolia and white. Let's keep it all clean and neutral. This is the lounge area. Again, same again, there was a lot of staining on this bay window here. Um, so stain blocked it, two coats of emulsion and that's fine. So gives you an idea. Hallway obviously the same. And this is the third bedroom, same again, it's magnolia, white. Uh, there was a lot of preparation to do in this uh, property, so probably spent about a whole day doing all the prep. Uh, the bathroom, there was a fair bit of work in here, and the tiles, I've actually done another video of how I've done all this, but we'll link there to that. Uh, it's basically about regrouting the tiles, resealing the bath. So what we've done here is resealed the bath, um, obviously, as, as I suggested, re grouted the tiles. Now, there was a few tiles loose here and they were kicked off the wall because there's, I think there was a leak going down the back of this shower fitting. So I've, I've put a, a bead of silicon around that now, so that, that hopefully will stop the leak. That's one of the main reasons why they re grout all the tiles and just refix them. Now, this wall was all rotten down here, so patched all that, uh, sorted the skirting board, re grouted, resealed. Sink. So that was it. 
kitchen, fully redecorated, white ceiling, off white walls. Um, the radiator. This was just full of surface rust when I first came here. Uh, so what I do, I use Rust 11, uh, all surface sort of primer. Obviously sand the radiator down, all surface primer, and then one or two coats of Dulux Satinwood for your top coat, it gives a nice finish. I do that with a lot of radiators. I've actually done three radiators on this property. It just makes them look like new. The light, when I first came in here, there was a pendant light. You now a great big lampshade, it was just dark and dingy. I mean, this is quite a dark kitchen anyway. So I suggested the landlord just to fit a, just a modern stainless LED type spotlight. That way you can focus, you know, one of the beams down to the cooker, one down to the sink and one over at this possible eating area here. Uh, so that's that. Um, one thing, tried to get a, a matching door for this cabinet because there's, there's a bit of water damage there. But I was just really struggling. The best thing to do here if he was that bothered was just replace all the doors. It's just a small kitchen. So. But it's not that bad actually. It's still functional. Uh, another thing was this washing machine. For years I think it had been you can see the mark on the floor there, it'd been sat out, you know, into the kitchen because they couldn't get it in, in the in the void. Um, so basically what I'd done is took it out, I took the skirting board, off, skirting board off, cut the skirting board just to allow, you know, a bit more space and just angled the washing machine in and just sort of jiggled it into position so that's that sorted. So it's a bit neater. The only thing there is the floor's a bit um, damaged, well not damaged, but it's just a bit, maybe they just need a good clean. But I've let the landlord know that. So, that's it. Oh sorry, the the door handle, I'll cut the clip now where I was repairing that and just showing how I do it. There's not been a door stopped down here. The door's obviously been banging against the, the wall, so um, one of the first jobs is obviously to fill this hole. So, what I've done, uh, somebody had actually tried to fill it before and it was all lumpy and horrible so what I've done is run around it with a Stanley knife, cut out the worst of it, pull that out. Uh, what I'll do now is pack this with a uh, really strong chip rock, just slightly under flush, let that dry off and then we'll cover it with a finishing compound. This is the joint filler I use, chip rock. It's really strong. Um, so I've just mixed up a little, a little bit here. And we'll proceed to pack it in. Just something like this. Just pack it in all the all the edges, around the, all the edges. Normally for bigger holes than this, I would actually put a pair of batten in the back of there or you know cut a little bit of plasterboard to fit and then smear over it. But um, this chip rock is so strong, holes like this it's just perfect. It doesn't crack, it doesn't shrink. Yeah, I'm just packing it in at an angle. Like that. Yeah, we'll finish this off and then pick it up where I left off. Okay, so that's the first fill. Um, what we'll do is, this goes off within about half an hour, it goes rock solid, you know, so what we'll do is put a second fill of the same stuff, chip rock. Again, just still keeping it, I don't know if you can see it, it's, I'll try to keep it under flush. I'll put another bit, usually kind of in the middle. Um, you know, just to, to get sort of semi flat, and then we'll skim over it with the finishing compound. Now, there was a hole in there, so it's now been filled and painted. That was caused by the door hitting against the wall, which is quite common in rental properties um, for whatever reason. But there was no door stop, so I've just fitted, if you can see, just a door stop down there. So the door now hits that, as opposed to the handle hitting the wall. So that's it guys, just a quick refresh job. Um, these are pretty much my bread and butter, I do these all the time. Um, good fun, I like doing these because you get keys, you know, the property's empty. There's nobody to bother you, no, no hassle, you know. So. Great, I'll cut to me giving an overview now. Well, hopefully that video demonstrated a typical job that I would do. Um, just nothing heavy, just uh, Pretty much cos cosmetic job where I get the keys from the, the property owner or property agent, get on with it, get it ready for market and go for it. Yeah, so I do a lot of jobs like these. Um, I, do, 
I've got a couple of property agents that use me a lot um, because because of the fact that I can go in and deal with the problems, you know, all the different problems, different trades, you know, um, from day one. They know they'll just hand the keys over to me, get the job done, hand the keys back at the end and the job will be done, you know, uh, with the relevant certification and stuff like that. So. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, as I say, it wasn't too interesting. It was just a quick, quick overview of what I do. Um, but if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel by clicking either there or there. Uh, oh, that should take it a subscription link. And also, if you liked the video, please give it a like. As always, uh, it really helps. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.